people always say you'll get this feeling when you're on campus. It's true. I was here and I was like, wow, like I could see myself here. There's just like, there's so much opportunities for you to do things. The best part about being at school and being at university is having people that you care about doors down from you. I actually remember the specific day I decided I wanted to come to HWS. It was honestly the faculty. I love the communication side. I got to help run the broadcast. I also, like I said, I really like athletics. Definitely speaking to like the friends that I've made here. Three Miles Lost is a female acapella group on campus. Why not just try out for something new? Like once again, one of the highlights of my semester. Katie Flowers, she really just listened to me and was like, here are the things that you told me you're interested in and these are all the opportunities we have here. Let's put you in a service learning course. Let's Let's get you involved with this club. I'm going to introduce you to this person. Professor Chris Woodworth was really helpful. She helped me navigate my first year going into college as a first-gen student. I've never been across the Atlantic. I wanted to go to Denmark uh, because I wanted to figure out, you know, what makes them so happy and, you know, what makes them their culture so unique. Essentially, the pitch is Shark Tank for HWS students. Teams present their idea in front of a live audience. My favorite thing at HWS by far is the friendships that I've made. I've absolutely loved everybody. Environmental studies was something that I fell into because I took a bunch of environmental studies courses and to be here at the Finger Lakes where the heart of environmental studies is and understanding uh, the climate change impacts and the water has helped me shape what I wanted to do after college and what I'm hoping to get out of my life after HWS. I've been uh, the captain of the tennis team for the past two years, which has been a lot of fun. The captain that, that I had really helped me kind of adjust to college. So I really appreciated the stuff that he did for me and helped me out my first year. And I knew starting my sophomore year, junior year, that that's something that I really wanted to do for our younger players. The summer after my first year, I actually worked on a research project. We went to the archives, Historic Geneva and HWS archives, and we did research on black individuals in the Geneva community. And we took all that together and made a series of monologues for it to be the fall show. That really solidified my interest in theater. The show for me was giving a voice to people who haven't been heard. I first came in as a bio major. I'm gonna be pre-med, I'm gonna do bio, this is my thing. Um, and I took an intro to social class and I was like, whoa. I had a placement down at the local daycare center. So I was working with one and two year olds, things they can and can't do and how is that shaping them? And then coming to class and hearing about other people's experiences and sharing mine and bringing the class material to life. This past summer, I interned with the Kalamazoo Growlers of the Northwoods League. I actually found this internship through our Salisbury Center for Career Professional and Experiential Education. We call it Career Services for short and ended up being very prepared and got the job and had one of the best summers of my life out in Kalamazoo. Definitely the, the individual that stands out above all is Professor Drennan. He's been an unbelievable asset and just kind of bridging the gap between my environmental major and my entrepreneurial minor. It really also connects with him helping me find my summer internship in Montana, working for a fly fishing destination travel company. I've done research at the colleges for the past two summers. I'm doing an independent study with that research right now too. It's rare at other institutions, especially large institutions, for students to do what I do. Normally I'd say like graduate students are doing what I do at other schools. You know, on campus, 60% of our students study abroad. And so what that meant was me and all my friends were just at different parts of Europe at that time. It really was a full circle moment for me to be able to finally get out there, explore, uh, and just have probably the best semester of my life. When you're here, what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? I think that's really important and that's what something that I strive for. When I hear the words to live a life of consequence, for me it means to live a life of purpose, to live a life with meaning, living every single day to the fullest. Personally to me, it means like stepping into the world and making an impact in any kind of a way. I think I'd be satisfied at the end of the day if I could just impact one person. That really has developed a lot into more of a career path than just a passion at this point. I've been thinking recently about maybe becoming a professor. I love interacting with the students that I help with chemistry problems and that job's been one of my favorite jobs on campus. That's kind of my goal is to help those underclassmen adjust and to kind of develop. My research project really tied me to the community and I've made so many different connections I found my people here at HWS. No one is just one person, just involved in one thing. Everyone has a million different things they're doing and that they're passionate about. I want to make a difference. That is sort of my goal in life. Um, and I feel like that's what I'm going to get to do here. Yeah.